Hello, all you positive heads out there. It's so good to be back with all you beautiful reflections of the one source consciousness that creates and animates all things. If you're new to this podcast, of course, we are super happy to have you here. And we just ask that you bring an open mind and heart to your listening experience and to be prepared to explore vantage points that I'm convinced will help shift or solidify your current understanding of the ultimate nature of reality in a way that is extremely empowering. Speaking of exploring powerful perspectives, I'm super excited to announce the release of my very first book, The Golden Key, Modern Alchemy to Unlock Infinite Abundance. If you're ready to alchemize the circumstances in your life so that your abundance expands to an entirely new level in 2021, Head over to goldenkey.gift to download the audio or ebook as my gift to you by using the code POSITIVEHEAD. All right, all you positive heads, welcome, welcome. Here we grow again. It is a magical Monday here in the studio as I record. And you guessed it, I'm grateful to be here. <laughs> and today I want to talk a little bit about fear. And yeah, how fear gets in the way so much of the things that we want to do and everything, this idea that, um, you know, everything that we want is on the other side of fear or, you know, I've talked about many times fear can mean false evidence appearing real or it can many, many different things that people will, will uh, say for fear, F-E-A-R, false evidence appearing real. Or I, I really like it when you compare like forget everything and run or face everything and rise. And it's, it's really, you know, something that is, uh, plays a role in everyone's life to varying degrees and just becoming aware of, you know, Hey, I am facing, I'm dealing with, with fear. And, you know, a lot of times um, people want to run from it, right? Forget everything and run. But, you know, being scared is a part of being alive right? It is, it is something that you're inevitably going to come up against. And so you can, um, you know, you can run from life or you can say, hey, this is, you know, this is here to, to, to make me stronger. This is here for me to go through. And, in, and by the way, it, it will show itself in a lot of different ways, right? It can, fear can come in many, many disguises. And, you know, one of the things that um, you know, made me think of, think of this. Well, one, I've had a bunch of, uh, of things pop up around this topic in the last few days. So it was obvious that I should bring it up and talk a little bit about it today. But, um, you know, I, I received, one of the things was I received a note from the universe that speaks to this and I'm going to read it real quick. It says, impatience is a sign of hurrying. Hurrying is a sign of worrying. Worrying is a sign of fear. And fear is a sign, Brandon, that someone has temporarily forgotten that it's never too late to change their thoughts and therefore their things. Glad we could straighten that out, the universe. <laughs> so, you know, this is once again, one of the ways that it can show its rear its head. Impatience. For me, that's been a huge one, right? Being impatient, being, you know, sort of agitated if things are moving too slowly and um, moving too quick or... Um, eating too quick or talking too quick, you know, this impatience, this hurrying, it's, it's, you know, impatience is a sign of hurrying. Hurrying is a sign of worrying. Worrying is a sign of fear. So if you have, you know, nothing to, to, to fear except for, you know, the fear of fear, as Tony Robbins once said, you know, we all know the famous quote, uh, the only thing we have to fear is fear itself. The only thing we have to fear, he said, is the fear of fear. You know, we want to run from the idea of being scared, but it's, it's like I said earlier, it's being, that's being a part of, of being alive. And a lot of times you can know something is the path for you. I've also said many times is if it scares you and excites you, it's probably for you. That is getting you to uh, face uh, those fears. And if you don't face those fears, they become our limits, uh, which I love that, you know, uh, fears we don't face become our limits. Well, you know, how true to realize that and, and to slow down. If you, if you have nothing to worry about and you know, why would you hurry? If you've got, if you are floating in eternity, 
you're an eternal being that's always been and always will be. And, you know, change is guaranteed, right? That's one thing that's for sure. If you don't like it, have no fear. It's going to change. If you love it, appreciate it because it's going to change, right? And, you know, one of my favorite quotes of all time um, that, uh, you know, I said, I believe it's from the beginning of the law of one. And it's so powerful. Actually, I take that back. It was actually from uh, not Love One, A Course in Miracles. And it starts off with nothing real can be threatened. Nothing unreal exists. Herein lies the peace of God. Like, wow, how powerful is that when you talk about fear? Like, you know, <laughs> when, you, when you relate that truth to being scared, like what you are, what, what's real can never be threatened. And anything unreal is an illusion. It doesn't exist. So what you are can't truly be threatened. It can pretend to be threatened, but, you know, what's pretending is actually the unreal because what's real is untouchable. The, the, you know, source, God, higher self, the one is this untouchable um, truth, consciousness, can't be threatened ultimately. And so anything that appears to threaten it isn't actually real and it's an illusion. So that's herein lies the peace of God. And when you think, you know, this is where God finds peace. This is where source finds peace. This is where we can find peace by realizing that who and what we are is untouchable for eternity. There's it, time is an illusion. So hurrying, running, screen, all of those things are, are really just not understanding, right? And relax into your life. You think of the, the lion, you know, laying on the prairie, you know, is not in a big hurry. It's, it's king of the, you know, it, it, the lion is, is, is calm, cool, and collected. It doesn't need to, it doesn't need to chase. It doesn't need to hurry. It can't be threatened, right? Really, there's no animal in the animal kingdom that is, you know, that hunts the lion, right? So it's like, you know, your your job as you move into your king and queen hood, the, the, the divine um, spark that you are, is you just begin to relax a little bit more into what's coming. You don't you find yourself in an anxious state. You know, you you realize, oh, I'm out of alignment. I can take deep breaths. I can slow down and, and actually start playing with the understanding that by slowing down, I create more time as the creator. And what a concept that is. It's like Ocho got that when he said, you know, everyone should meditate at least 20 minutes a day. Unless you're too busy, you should meditate for an hour. Because if you're too busy, you are hurrying. And if you're hurrying, you're tapped into to fear in some way, shape, or form. And this is such a, a divine dance of us to, um, to learn how to just slow down, to be coming from a place of, um, of power, tapping into our power. And, and as a result, you know, we, we, it doesn't mean you're never going to be scared, but you're going to realize that that is a part of it, of your life, and you're going to face it like, a, you know, like a true, the true spiritual warrior that you are. Here's a good one, and I'm not sure who, who said it, but fear is not real. The only place that fear can exist is in our thoughts of the future. It is a product of our imagination, causing us to fear things that do not at present and may not ever exist. This is near insanity. Do not misunderstand me. Danger is very real, but fear is a choice. And it's, yeah, it's back to this, uh, this whole idea that if you're living fully in the present, you can deal with whatever is coming up and whatever is arising. It, you know, fear is, um, you know, Worry is, is a misuse of imagination, right? It's allocating this creative power to how, how often have you fantasized about something good or bad and it not come true? A lot. So, you know, just when you catch yourself doing that, remember, oh, hold on, I'm doing this thing where I'm, I'm using all my powerful fuel to create a, a, an imagining of something I don't want to attract into my life. And uh, what a silly way to navigate my 
my bio body suit, <laughs> my vessel, and my human form, because I'm literally putting building blocks in the wrong direction. And by the way, how often have I done the same thing and been wrong? Uh, probably a lot more than being right. You know, the future never comes quite like we imagine it, imagine it. And, you know, if it does, it's like so rare. And so, you know, just uh, relaxing into that, that not knowing, you know, instead start weaving a new story around it. If you're, if you're really fearful of something, start telling a new story around it. Oh, wow. I'm really fearful of this one thing. I keep thinking or dwelling on it. And, Ooh, you know what, what a great thing that, uh, I know that usually whatever I'm sort of imagining never comes to pass the way I imagine it. So therefore this thing that I'm most fixated on fearing is probably the thing that won't happen because you know, if I look statistically at the times I've imagined in in the past and it unfolding exactly like I imagined, it was like slim to none. And, oh, okay, I can relax. <laughs> I can relax. I can start realizing that nothing real can be threatened and nothing unreal exa- exists. Herein lies the peace of your soul. This is how you navigate to peace. You just continue to face it with a smile, get, dig down deep. When you do find that courage, you know, it's, it's, it just makes you more and you, you learn how to like, okay, I'm feeling this uh, fear. It's coming up. I'm going to, I'm going to do it anyway. I'm going to, um, I'm going to overcome this thing. And as a result, you know, I'm going to be more right. How, how often does fear cripple us from realizing our dreams? It's just like how many people die before, um, you know, die by, uh, giving in to, uh, all their fears, right? They give into their fears and then they, they literally die before they, I mean, what, what, what worse way to go through life than to fear failure and therefore never truly live. You're not going to get to the other side. It's like, it's like that woman I've tell, shared the story with before that I met who had a near death experience and she dr- was drowning and she was on the other side. And then she was like, okay, you're, you're back. You know, you, you know, welcome back. Uh, you, you did everything you wanted to while you were there in physical, right? You went for it. You went the extra mile. You stretched yourself, right? Right. And she, no, she hadn't. And, you know, and, and so it was brought very prominently to her, the forefront of her experience. First thing being on the other side as she's, you know, is, is drowning is that, Look, go for it, go for it, go for it. Don't ever let fear stop you. You know, obviously danger is real, like I said, like the quote said, but um, and, and doesn't mean to be foolish, but don't let uh, imagined fear stop you from being and tapping into the ultimate potential of who and what you are. All right, everyone. Well, that is going to be the short but sweet episode for today. I do have a song to leave you with. It is Butterfly Effects by Mindex and Supertask. Hope you enjoy. Until next time, be brave. Also, before we queue up today's song, as a quick reminder, don't forget to download the Golden Key audio or ebook as my free gift to you at goldenkey.gift using the Golden Key code POSITIVEHEAD. And please, if you enjoy my gift, leave a positive review on Amazon so others can unlock their lives with the help of the Golden Key as well.